All right, guys, I wasn't kidding when I said I was gonna put this thing to the test. What is up, you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Mackenzie. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. So, today's the day. We are finally going to put the Gripon Zephyr to the test. So, if you haven't seen my first video of unboxing and my first impressions of this piece, I will link it down below. Go watch that video first, then come back to this one. So, we're going to be testing out the Zephyr, cutting quite a few different pieces of glass that I've already got prepped and ready to go. I was originally going to have this video as testing out the Zephyr and the glass cutter that you've also seen in that first video, but I think it's going to take up enough time just testing out the Zephyr, so I will feature the glass cutter in a totally separate video. So, today's video, like I said, we're going to be putting the Zephyr to the test, so if that sounds like something you guys are into, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so before we get started, there's just something I want to quickly reiterate because I always get these comments on ring saw videos. So, this is a ring saw. This is not a grinder. It is not meant to do the job of a grinder. It's not a glass cutter. It's not meant to do the job of a glass cutter. You still need both of those machines or tools in your toolbox. This is just another machine you can add into your arsenal once you start stepping your stained glass art up a notch. So, what these machines are meant to do is to cut those more rare, intricate designs that you cannot get cut with your traditional glass cutter and grinder or those two combined. So when you have no physical way to cut that insane deep curve out or whatever it is, that's when you take it to the ring saw. So with that being said, that also means this is not a machine that's meant to be run every day. This is not a machine that's meant to run for hours every single day like a glass grinder. That's just not what it's meant to do. Again, it is for those more rare occasions that you just have a crazy design that you need to cut out, you take it to the ring saw, it gets done in no time. And again, just like it says in the directions, you have omnidirectional cutting with a bit that is all the way around. So when you take your glass to the cutter, you can quite literally move it in any direction, back and forth, side to side, and it will get it cut out. So again, this is not a grinder. This is for the more rare occasion that you need to get this crazy shape cut out. That's when you take it to a ring saw. So I think now we can get started. Okay, so from my last video, we know that the setup of this machine is super quick and super easy. So it says fill the base with tap water until the level reaches the mark provided on the side of the saw unit. Place the work surface on the base and plug in the saw and you're ready to cut. Removing the grid and all we're going to do is fill the water up into that water line. What's up guys? So really quick, I had to pop on here. I was literally just exporting this video and Matt Wolf, the GM from Gryphon, just sent me an email. He said something important some people forget during assembly. I totally didn't mention it. The face shield must be fixed to the saw if you want to use it or not. It actually clamps the two sides of the housing together so water doesn't burst through the seam. If you don't want to use the face shield, just flip it up out of the way like he personally does. Okay, so definitely just wanted to jump on here really quick and mention that. Also wanted to thank you guys for 10K subscribers. That's nuts. 10K. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Enjoy the video. Alrighty, so we have our water filled up to our water line. I'm just going to grab all of the stencil cut glass that I've got ready to go to test out. Alrighty guys, so we've got our water filled up to the inside marked water line. I have my safety glasses on, my cutting robe on. Before we just jump right into cutting glass, I want to turn this thing on and actually hear what it sounds like. I want to see how much water it throws, how loud it is, so we can really compare it. Interesting. Wow, okay, so right off the bat, I'm noticing how much less water is being thrown all over me and all over my desk, which I absolutely love. There's not one single water droplet across my desk right now or on me. I'm thrilled about that. Because you guys know how messy glass grinding or using ring saws can be. There's already so much to clean up with all of the glass shards that get thrown everywhere adding water to that mix makes it even more difficult to clean up. So having such a drastic difference in how much water is being thrown everywhere is a huge, huge plus to me. However, I will say right off the bat, 
I think this is just as loud as any other ring saw. I don't notice a huge difference in how loud it is. Ring saws are strong, powerful machines. They're gonna be loud. That's just how it is. Okay, oh, also, so I know I'm, I apologize for this really nasty rash. I have a couple of them on my arms after I rescued those cats a couple weeks ago. I do believe they had poison ivy on them and I'm unfortunately very, very, very allergic to poison ivy, so. It's almost healed up now, but I know it looks pretty bad. I'm sorry if that's bothersome for you guys. So I've got a whole bunch of parts of designs right here that I need to get cut out on a ring saw. So I'm going to just start testing this out. So before I start doing that, there is something I want to mention. So like I said, a ring saw cuts a chunk of the glass out. So this doesn't just grind and it doesn't just cut through. The width of that belt is the width of the cut that it's making. So you need to be particularly careful when you're cutting out your design. So if the width of that saw is just about the width of that Sharpie line, that means I need to stay directly on that Sharpie line or the design is going to get screwed up. So keep that in mind as you're cutting your designs. All right, so let me just test out a couple pieces and really get a feel for my first impressions here. Okay, so I wasn't planning on stopping this fast, but I feel like I need to immediately tell you guys how fast this is cutting through the glass. That's crazy, I was not expecting that. Wow, all right, let me keep cutting some more pieces so I can really get a feel for this thing. All right guys, I wasn't kidding when I said I was gonna put this thing to the test. So, as you just saw, I was cutting a whole lot of glass. Now, all of a sudden, it made this noise and came to a complete stop. So, naturally, I assumed a piece of glass got lodged in here because I've cut so much glass. I will show you the inside of the water in a second. So when I opened it up, sure enough, there's a big old hunk of glass and a bunch of glass mud down there. So, number one, this is my fault. Like I said at the very beginning of this video, this machine is not meant to grind an insane amount of glass. Now, after I cut half as much as I should have, I should have stopped, emptied out the water, especially because this machine in particular doesn't hold a ton of water, and I should have refreshed it. So I broke my own roll and I paid the price. Now, lucky for me, this machine is made well, so the belt did not break, the blade did not break, it just came off the track because of this hunk of glass that got lodged inside of it somewhere. So I'm gonna clean all of this down, reset it up, freshen the water, and we're gonna keep going but I didn't want to skip over this part. This is something that can happen with any ring saw. If a piece of glass gets lodged in here, obviously it is going to rip the um, blade off the track. It's just something that happens. I would say that this is my fault. Alrighty, so all it was was those two screws to pop off both of those cases. I just cleaned the majority of that glass mud out and got not one, but two big chunks of glass out of there but it's a quick and easy fix. And like I said, guys, that happens with ring saws. Now that I am more familiar and well-versed with ring saws, I'm completely okay with that happening. That is a non-issue for me. Even before I got my first ring saw, that was something I heard about happening, but I also heard when it happens, your blade snaps. So I was terrified of it happening. But now that I've had a ring saw before, I know what to expect, know how to fix it. Like I said, that is a non-issue for me. We are cleaned and ready to keep going. So let me just finish cutting these last couple pieces and then we're gonna talk about my final thoughts. Okay, so let's talk about my final thoughts. Although I feel like it is quite clear how I feel about this, but let's talk specifics. So number one, the huge work surface. This work surface is huge and the motor is tucked away, giving you even more work surface space up here, which I absolutely love. It has the built-in handle. So if you wanna use this thing as a handheld, you can safely do that 
with the handle that's actually built into a machine. Now, there's two plugs. You'll only need to just plug two plugs up and pour water right into the actual ring saw itself to use it as a handheld, which is super easy. It has a clear marked water line. It comes with the extra maintenance kit, the extra blade, which is huge. Again, those blades are not cheap. So it's all of these little things that makes me way more comfortable recommending this machine to you guys versus any other machine. So talking about at the very beginning that it's just as loud as any other ring saw, but I feel like this one is so much more powerful. So when I was cutting through the glass, even up into the very last piece that I was grinding, I had to make a conscious effort to slow down because it was so easily cutting through the glass. So this one, because it cuts through it so quickly, is definitely gonna be a little bit of a learning curve, even if you've already used and are familiar with a different ring saw. This one is chomping at the bit to get through that glass, which I absolutely love. So because I've owned a ring saw previously and this one having a gripe on name, I had high, high expectations for it and it absolutely hit all of those and some. Like I said, it's all of those little things combined that makes me really, really willing to recommend this over anything else. So it's definitely just as loud, but it feels more powerful. The work surface is bigger. It has a clear handle, the motor's out of the way, clear marked waterline, extra maintenance kit, extra blade, and I can't put my finger on what it is, but all I can say is it just feels easier to use. I don't know what it is, but it feels more user friendly. It was so easy and quick to just pull this thing out, empty it, put new water in, and snap it back in. I don't know why, it just feels easier. It feels easier and it feels better made. I absolutely approve of this thing totally recommend it. Again, a huge thank you to Matt Wolf over at Gryphon for sending this over. I feel super lucky to have one and I'm so excited to keep playing with it. Of course, you guys, I'm going to continue to use this thing and I am going to try to find a separating blade to go with it. That way we can still do the head-to-head -head battle of this machine next to the Taurus, which again, I think you guys are going to know which one wins just based off of all of those little things. It's a well-made machine, it's chomping at the bit to get through glass, and it has all of those extra little elements that the other one does not have to offer. So even at just a baseline of them cutting through the glass the same, this one has all of the extras that makes it more worth it. This one having just the extra blade alone makes it more worth it. It makes that little bit of a price increase worth it. It's crazy. So I absolutely love it. I'm totally, totally impressed. I'm super psyched to have this now. So let me know down in the comments below, what did you guys think of the Zephyr? Do you have a ring saw? If so, which one do you use? Of course, I'm going to link everything in my description box below. I will link Gryphon and this specific machine. If you want to check out my stained glass work and my stained glass business, that will be linked down below too. And if not, I'll see you next time. Bye. Super hot, my face sweaty. See ya.